in order to subtract a decimal from a whole number when the decimal is less than the whole number, we want to rewrite the problem vertically lining up the place values. But we do want to recognize the decimal point for seven would be just after the seven on the right side or right here. Which hopefully makes sense. Notice how the seven and the three are both in the one's place value. So now we'll write this vertically lining up the place values. We'll have seven point minus three point five four. And now that we have the place values lined up, we can add zeros to the right of the decimal point. So we can put a zero here and a zero here, and notice it still has the value of seven. Now we'll bring the decimal point down into our difference, and now we'll subtract as we normally would. Notice how we'll have to borrow from the seven in order to perform this subtraction here on the right. So this would change to a six, and this would be a 10, but we have to borrow all the way over to this column here to perform this subtraction. So this will be a nine, and this will be a 10. So 10 minus four is six, and nine minus five is four, and six minus three is three. So this difference is positive 3.46, or three and 46 hundredths. Next, we'll take a look at when we subtract a decimal that's larger than a whole number, and the result is negative.